Hey, what's up? Hello, it's Meg, and you're watching Revved Up Rooms. Revved Up Rooms with me, Meg DeAngelis, brought to you by Pottery Barn Team. So I'm totally loving this workspace. This is the Z Desk from Pottery Barn Teen, and it has this like really big drawer right here for storage. So you can make all sorts of crafts and stuff at this desk. And I feel like it's a really good setup. Okay, so now it's time for me to show you how to make this chalkboard to-do list. I think it's a really great thing to add to a workspace like this, and I'm really excited to show you, so let's get into it. What you're gonna need is a cutting board, a picture frame, poster board, newspaper, cork, a plate, some painter's tape, some rope, sponge brushes, glue, chalkboard paint, scissors, a sharpie, an exacto knife, a ruler. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut out my poster board. So I'm just using the back bit that came out of the frame so I know how big to make it. So I'm gonna draw some lines right around the edges of it and then just cut it out with my exacto knife. So as long as it's the same size as this, it should fit nicely in my frame. All right, so now I have my poster board the size of the chalkboard that I want. Now it is time to paint. I've just laid out some newspaper on my workspace so that I can keep it nice and clean and I don't get paint on anything. And I'm just gonna start painting on my chalkboard paint onto my future chalkboard. All right, so I'm thinking that I might not want the whole chalkboard just to be black. I think it would be cool to add some gray stripes of other chalkboard paint. That way I can make it like a list or a calendar if I need to. So I've added in some stripes with tape and I've also left a little section here unpainted because I'm gonna put a cork board in because I think that would be really nice. So I'm gonna paint the first stripe dark, then the one in the middle light, and then the one at the bottom dark again. And I think it's gonna create a nice little pattern. And you guys can do whatever you want with it. Chalkboard paint comes in so many colors, so you can do whatever shapes or patterns you want with it. All right, so I'm gonna let this paint dry, then take off the tape, and then I'm gonna add my cork. Once the paint dried, I took off the tape and I glued on my cork right here. And what I think I might do is add some type of border here to kind of connect them. I think that looks really good. And then also here I've left a little bit of a border on the outside of the cork just so that it'll fit in the frame properly. So make sure you guys do that too. Now it is ready to put in the frame. I'm just gonna take out the back bit and make sure you guys take the glass out of your frame too because if you don't, you'll just have a framed cork board and chalkboard, then you won't even be able to use it. So I'm just gonna pop this in here and then put the backing back on to kind of lock it in place. Like that. And when I turn it around, we have a cork board and chalkboard. So this is cool because I can make little notes here and then pin stuff up here and I'm gonna stay really, really organized. And this also is really pretty, so it's gonna look nice hanging in my room. Okay, so now to tie in this tape here, I'm gonna add some more of it along the edges of the frame because I think that will look really, really cool. And I think I'm gonna leave a little stripe of white. like that. And I'm gonna do that all the way around the frame. So now we have two different patterns of stripes mixed together on our chalkboard cork board. And I think it's really fun now. And I love that I was able to tie in that pink with the rest of the frame. All that is left to do is just clean up the edges a little bit and then I can go hang it in my room. Okay guys, so that is what it looks like hanging up in my room. I totally love how the washi tape matches my tufted swivel chair. And this chair actually comes in different colors as well, so you could match a different color tape to a different color chair. And I also love how this pink color matches my Prism Pop rug with the stripe of pink right there. This DIY was so much fun to make, and if you try it out, make sure to share it with me with the hashtag my PBT DIY and the hashtag revved up rooms. I really want to see how it looks. Also, enter to win a $2,500 PBT dream room that includes a design team that will come to your home and create room magic. Follow PBT on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. 
And if you like the products that were featured in this episode, make sure to check them out at pbteen.com. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and Awesomeness TV, and I'll see you later. Bye.